Basically, the RSI is calculated by dividing the average closing price of the up closes by the average closing price of down closes. There are many different uses for RSI, but it can be altered depending on your specific needs. An overlooked method of using RSI is the use of trend lines directly on the oscillator itself, in much the same way that they are used on price charts. The RSI trendline strategy is essentially a reversal strategy, and it makes use of the RSI indicator in an unconventional way. Trend lines are easily recognizable lines that traders draw on charts to connect a series of prices together or show some data's best fit. The resulting line is then used to give the trader a good idea of the direction in which an investment's value might move. They are used to show the price upwards, downwards, and sometimes sideways. Confirmed trend lines are drawn by connecting a cycle low or high with at least two other of the highest or lowest points on a chart to create a line of best fit. The rules of the system are straightforward, we only need to connect the most recent RSI peaks or valleys with a trend line. And a breakout of the trend line will warn us that the market has lost its steam and traders can find trading opportunities with good risk to reward ratios. Because RSI measures the surge in closing prices, when RSI changes direction and either breaks above or below a trend line, a significant move in price can result. Hey guys welcome back to another episode, in this video we will be going through our RSI indicator trading strategy in depth and how we use it in combination with price action. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. So, two very important points before we start. First, indicators are not magic and we never use indicators on their own for trade entries. We use indicators to support what we have already established with price action. And second, everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. So, let me try once again to explain the basic rules of this RSI trendline trading. We'll use the RSI indicator to show us if the prevailing trend has ended and a new trend is underway. We're not going to measure the overbought oversold conditions or as a crossover system, we're going to take it one step further and look for a break in momentum of the prevailing trend. What I mean by this is that we're going to look at the changes in prices relative to the changes in the peak and the valley that the RSI indicator will generate. Trend lines placed on this oscillator provide an additional level of precision as well as additional trade setups. Because the signals are leading rather than lagging, stops can be placed below or above the candle on which the RSI broke its trend line. This allows for a good risk to reward trading opportunity. The breaking of an RSI trend line usually precedes the break of a trend line on the price chart, providing an advance warning of a reversal. Therefore, recognizing the break of the RSI trend line can be an important and profitable indicator that the price direction is about to change. This is a leading signal. The leading signal appears before the new trend or reversal occurs. These signals help you profit by predicting what prices will do next. RSI, in its nature, is a lagging indicator. A lagging indicator gives a signal after the trend has started and basically informs you, hey buddy, pay attention, the trend has started and you're missing the boat. And the downside is that you'd be a little late in entering a position. Often the biggest gains of a trend occur in the first few bars, so by using a lagging indicator you could potentially miss out on much of the profit. You're probably thinking, ooh, I'm going to get rich with leading indicators. Since you would be able to profit from a new trend right at the start, you're right. You would catch the entire trend every single time, if the leading indicator was correct every single time. But it won't be. When you use leading indicators, you will experience a lot of fakeouts. Leading indicators are notorious for giving bogus signals which could mislead you. That's why it's important to look closely at the price action. Price action rules are designed to help us make money and eventually become a better trader. If you would take a trade every time you spot a RSI trend line breakout, you would soon find out that the outcome is not as expected. We use RSI trend line to support what we have already established with price action. So, you need to analyze the price. You need to draw key support and resistance levels to identify the main trend and take RSI trend line's breakout signals in the direction of the main trend. Here is a common mistake. 
Many traders that implement the RSI trendline breakout approach use it as whatsoever reversal signals. They see an upward trend, they spot a RSI trendline breakout and go short. This could work, yes, but it's not the most consistent way of using it. We use RSI trendline breakout approach in a more conservative way. When we spot the same uptrend, we search for RSI trendline breakout signals that offer buy opportunities. We have zero interest in RSI signals indicating short trades. We go with the main trend. Let's look at the next examples. In this Australian dollar's bullish chart, we noticed some RSI trendline breaks. The use of the trendline provided additional visual confirmation that a trade opportunity is near. The use of RSI trendline breaks gave buy signals a few candles before the actual move. In this another chart, we can have a representation of how a short setup would look like. We have the price making lower high and lower lows, so we are definitely in a downtrend. We added the price action trend line. Then we identified the RSI trend line breakouts. In terms of stop loss level, a common practice is to use the candle on which the RSI broke its trend line, so in the case of our short setup our stop loss would be above that candle. If you prefer a better visualization of the trend, add a long-term moving average and take trades in its main direction. RSI, like many other oscillators is defaulted to a 14 period setting. This means the indicator looks back 14 bars on whatever graph you may be viewing to create its reading. Even though 14 is the default period, that may not make it the best setting for your trading. Normally, short-term traders use a smaller period, such as a 8-period RSI, to replicate shorter-term movements in the market. Longer-term traders may opt for a higher period, such as a 20-period RSI, or even 50. Depending on your trading style, you can lower your RSI to increase sensitivity, or you could raise it to decrease sensitivity. Keep in mind that on lower timeframes, with lower RSI settings, you will get a lot of false signals, because the indicator will have increased sensitivity. So, maybe it's better to increase the value of the RSI if you want to back test this technique on smaller timeframes. If you want a smoother analysis with less noise, go on higher timeframes. Here you could use a lower period on the RSI, which will offer more trend line opportunities, but you could also adopt a less sensitive approach by using a higher period RSI, like the 20 for example. The key is to back test and find the best approach that works with your trading style. RSI is an indicator and just follow the price. You should be patient and wait for a clear break of its trend line. Maybe sometimes, you should wait to see how the first candle acts after the breakout and after that take your trade. But remember that we only use indicators to support what we have already established with price action. An important tip is that you should not chase the trades. When you chase a trade, your entry will be at a bad spot. So, let them come to you. If you got any value from this and learned something new, leave us a like to show your support. Also don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay in touch with our new videos. See you next time.